salt, we are adding water to make a solution. Yeah. Now to this solution, we will add dilute HCl to test for group 1. Dilute HCl added. And no precipitation means absence of lead ion or group 1. To this add sodium sulfide. Ideally H2S needs to be added. But just for convenience we are adding sulfide ions in the form of sodium sulfide. Ideally H2S gas has to be passed through this. Black precipitate indicates presence of group 2. Separate the precipitate and add 50% nitric acid to this to boil. Add 50% nitric acid and boil. Yeah, the solution turns sea green. Now we are going to divide this solution into two to do the two confirmatory tests. To one part add potassium ferrocyanide and a brown colored precipitate indicates presence of confirms presence of copper ion. We are adding ammonium hydroxide. We are adding ammonium hydroxide. Yeah. Deep blue color indicates presence of confirms presence of copper ion. Deep blue color. Hmm. This indicates confirms presence of copper ion. Proceed for an ion analysis that is the acid radical analysis. This is a solid salt. Very important to remember to the solid salt we are going to add dilute sulfuric acid. Dilute sulfuric acid added to the solid salt. And no change is observed. No change is observed, which means dilute acid group radicals like carbonate, nitrite, sulfide, sulfide, all are absent. Another sample of solid salt, copper sulfate. Now we are going to add concentrated sulfuric acid. And again look for change. So no observation. You can even warm and check. No observation shows absence of concentrated acid radicals such as nitrate, chloride, bromide, iodide, etc. Whenever you discard anything into the sink, it is very important that you run more water through the sink in order to avoid staining of your lab equipment. It's important to run water so that any extra material rinses off. This is just an extra uh, step that you should always follow. So we will proceed now for independent group radicals. So we go for testing of sulfate ions, make the Aqueous solution this time. to aqueous copper sulfate solution, we are adding barium chloride and a white precipitate milkiness shows presence of confirmation of sulfate ion. So, this is a white precipitate found. To the aqueous solution of copper sulfate, add lead as acetic acid. This is adding acetic acid and now add lead acetate. white precipitate which is going to settle down on standing confirms the presence of sulfate.